Hello, before we start, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to receive updates when we upload new videos. Keep watching until the end of the video to see the interior shots, exterior shots and the full review. The Porsche Macan, a smaller sibling to the KN, was given the tough task of carving out a more lucrative slice of the market for itself. Here however, we are not driving any ordinary Macan but the range topping turbo. First impressions on first viewing the Macan with its relatively short size. The dimensions vary slightly between models. The Macan receives its own mechanical hardware, consisting of specially tuned or unique engines, new gearboxes and a revised version of the KN's multi-plate clutch four-wheel drive system. The Macan's McPherson strut front and multi-link rear suspension is also described as unique, with track widths that are up by 35mm at the front and 36mm at the rear over the Q5s. The Macan's bold styling takes a number of cues from the second generation KN, including a rather bluff front end that varies in width depending on engine. A large clamshell style bonnet aids engine bay cooling and features oval shaped cutouts for the headlights, plus sides that run all the way down to the front bumper. Predictably, the interior has an upmarket feel. The look again draws heavily on the KN, but subtle changes help set the Macan apart, including a multi-function steering wheel similar to the 918 Spiders. The rest is familiar, with a three-dial binnacle, touchscreen multimedia system and a high-set middle console housing a sea of switches. It looks cluttered, but the ergonomics are excellent. As for the standard equipment, the turbo is available in two forms, standard and with Porsche's performance package. The Macan Turbo rides on 19-inch alloy wheels, an aggressively styled body kit, adapted by Xenon headlights, electrically adjustable front sports seats, Alcantara roof lining, and a Bose sound system as standard. The Macan Turbo lineup consists of a twin-turbocharged 3.6-litre petrol engine that is described as being all new, although a naturally aspirated version of the same unit has appeared in the last-gen Panamera. Here, it produces 394 bhp at 6,000 revolutions per minute. While the performance package and the limited edition exclusive performance edition helps the turbo's engine punch out 434 bhp and an additional 37 pounds-feet of peak twist. The Macan Turbo is pleasingly smooth, with an engine that pulls well from the front, is potent through the mid-range and is set up by gears at low speed. There's some low-end lag, but the V6 is terrifically energetic on boost. With a short stroke design, the engine also revs with great conviction for a fast induction unit, rushing up to 6,700 revolutions per minute without feeling remotely breathless before hitting the limiter. It is just a pity that the new V6 sounds so characterless no matter which driving mode, standard, sport or sport plus, is chosen. There is an entertaining burble to the exhaust, but it is more often than not drowned out by excessive induction glare. You wouldn't call it bland, but the noise is rather insipid. The engine impresses, but it's the standard 7-speed dual-clutch automatic gearbox that really shows its class. It is fast, smooth and intuitive and has the ability to perfectly match revs on downshifts. The four-wheel drive system directs torque to the rear wheels and, when the position is forthwith, to the fronts, giving the Macan a distinctly rear-drive bias. The defining aspect of the Macan Turbo, however, is its handling. Sitting on firm yet forgiving steel sprung suspension, this SUV delivers an unusually high level of interaction and exceptional dynamic quality. You can fling the Macan Turbo down a back road at a decent clip and it responds beautifully, offering generous feel and a good deal of feedback through wonderfully weighted and engaging electro-mechanical steering. The overall agility and poise is outstanding for a car of this weight. Away from winding road, the Macan possesses terrific high-speed stability all the way up to its claimed top speed. The Macan Turbo's on-road excellence goes a long way towards redefining class standards, and the sports utility vehicle tag was never applied as fittingly as it is here. It is not so much a junior KN as a high-riding Cayman in sheer handling proficiency. The brakes are no less remarkable. There is a firm but progressive feel to the pedal, allowing you to confidently tip in the stoppers all the way to the point where the anti-lock begins to cycle. Not that the Macan Turbo is exclusively sporting. If you fancy a sporty SUV which can handle the occasional trip off-road, then the Porsche Macan has to be on your list absolutely. If you're looking for sports car thrills in a practical SUV form, the Turbo has to be right up there. Despite the odd flaw, it is hard not to get wrapped up in the overall brilliance of the new Macan Turbo.
Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Subscribe to Auto TV.